All right, example one, find x and y. And first of all, uh, can somebody tell me what the purpose of these two marks is? Yes, PJ. Uh, it marks those two sides as the same side, uh, same, uh, same, same measure. Same. Very good. These sides have the same measure. And um, uh, let's go with Delilah. What kind of triangle is this, if you had to name it based on its sides? Equal? Uh, not equal. Oh, um, Isosceles? Very nice, isosceles. An isosceles triangle has two equal sides, and equilateral would be all three sides equal. We don't have this bottom side marked as equal, so we can't assume that's equal to the other two sides. Um, one property of an isosceles triangle, which hopefully is on this page of properties I gave you, sides opposite equal angles in a triangle are equal. Okay? So sides that are opposite equal angles are equal. Angles opposite equal sides in a triangle are equal. All right? So, oops, wrong way. So that's what we have here. We have equal sides, right? The sides are equal. It's telling me that the angles that are opposite those sides are also equal. That's the property. So this angle equals that angle. There's no equation to write on this one. There's just an answer to write because of the property. But again, don't just go straight to the answer. I mean, it might pop in your brain right away. X is 50. You know it is. You've got this, um, like, sec or sixth sense that says, hey, it's 50. You know, but I'm not sure why. If you don't know why it's 50, make sure you know why it's 50. The property states that angles that are opposite sides that are equal are equal. So these sides are equal. These angles have to be equal. Therefore, X has to be 50. Okay, now we know X is 50. What other property can I use to find out what Y is? Let's go with Emily. What do you think? It's not on the yellow sheet. It's the one we've already learned. I don't know what the property Yeah, well, well tell, tell me something you know that's true about a triangle that allows you to find out what y is now that you know x is 50. Well, all the angles add up to 180. Perfect, all the angles add up to 180. That's the property. So you do know the property. Oh, Very good. You didn't know it was a property, did you? Yeah. Anyway, that's called the angle sum theorem. It's a property of triangles that says all three angles add up to 180. And since we know two of the angles, we now can use that. So I know that 50 plus 50 again plus y has to be 180. Again, property states all the angles add up to 180. I write an equation showing that all three angles that I know, this one, this one I found is 50, and this one add up to 180. And then I solve the equation, move 100 over here. Y is equal to 80 degrees. Wow. All right. Again, take that extra 15, 20, 30 seconds to rehearse the properties as to why things are true, and also write an equation based on the property that you re remember. Okay, Do that again and again and again, and then these things will be popping in your brain, and the property itself will pop in your brain at the same time. Then go ahead and write the answer at that point. If the properties aren't popping up, though, you need to put some thought into them because that's the key to these problems.